And now, SeaWorld proudly presents Orca Encounter! has one interconnected ocean. A vast blue expanse, critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the ocean's beauty than the killer whale. They live in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the Pacific and beyond. The killer whale story is the ocean story, and it's one we all share. We are one world, united by our ocean.
Killer Whale family showing off their incredible size, speed, power, and complex learning abilities. These behaviors keep our whales active and engaged. SeaWorld's Killer Whales have inspired generations all over the world, and we are excited to share their story with you tonight. Killer whales are the ocean's top predator. They use cooperation and communication, not just size and strength, to take their place at the top of the ocean's web. At the bottom are small animals, like krill. At the top, the apex predator, the killer whale. Killer whales are as big as a bus, faster than an Olympic swimmer. Are you guys having a great day here in SeaWorld? That is so great to hear. It's so great to see all of you again. Thank you for joining us today in the park. Folks, as I introduced myself earlier in the presentation, my name is Nick and I'm one of the animal trainers here at Orca Stadium. I want to tell you a little bit about what's going on right now behind us. Now, some of you may have noticed that that doorway on the side of the pool opened up at the beginning of the presentation. We asked two of our male killer whales to come out to the front pool and participate in what we call the open of the show, which is what you just saw. Now, one of those whales participated. His name's Mikayo. He's the youngest at 11 years old. However, Trua, our 16-year-old male, decided that he was going to stay in the back pool. So, this gives me the actual unique opportunity to kind of share kind of break it apart bit by bit behind the scenes about how we train the animals here at SeaWorld. Not just the killer whales, these same techniques are used for dolphins and sea lions and birds. All of our training with all of our animals here at SeaWorld is based on something called operant conditioning. Very simply, what that means, it's positive reinforcement. So, we ask the animals to do a behavior, and that's a very important word that I just used. We ask the animals to do a behavior, and it's their choice to do the behavior or not. Now, when they choose to do the behavior, we bring a lot of different types of reward and reinforcement to that. Of course, we use fish, but we also use toys and back rugs and hose plays and jello, always coming up with new ways to bring attention to the correct behavior. Now, when we ask the whales to do a behavior and they choose not to, we simply try our best to ignore it. And that's exactly what we did in the open of the show. Trua decided that he was not going to come out to the front pool and he was gonna stay in the back. Mikhail came out and he participated with his trainer and he got a lot of reward and reinforcement for that opening segment. Now, what we're gonna do next is a lot of the behavior that we ask for is team contingent. We're asking the whales to work together as a team. So, as you can see, the trainers have removed themselves from the stage area, not bringing a lot of attention to this front pool. Of course, I'm out here and all of you are out here. So what we're gonna do is just give the whales a couple of minutes to decide what they're going to do. Now, we may ask them again, for Trua and Mikhail to go into that side pool, which is actually what they're doing right now. I'm not sure if the trainers asked them to go back or if they've decided to go back on their own. Now, what we're looking for as animal trainers is behavior that shows us that the whales are ready and willing to go on. Now, if they don't show us that they're ready to go on, and what I mean by that is kind of looking for their trainers, eye contact, swimming sort of at the surface of the water, looking for us, that indicates to us that the whales have decided that they are ready to go on. Now, I do want to share with all of you that there is absolutely nothing we can do as animal trainers to make the whales do something that they do not want to do. So we bring attention to the behavior when we're asking them to do the correct behavior, and we do our best to ignore the incorrect behavior. So that's what we've done. We simply removed ourselves from the environment. The trainers have all left stage. And if you've noticed, both whales went through that side door over there, and they're in that side pool right now. So the trainers may ask for them to come over and sit with them while we close that doorway. We may not. We may decide to go on to the next segment. We also have three female killer whales that participate in the presentations as well. 
So I'm going to do my best to sort of narrate what's happening so all of you kind of get a better understanding, again, of how we train the animals here at SeaWorld. It's all based on positive reinforcement, positive reward. We ask them to do a behavior and we bring attention to that correct behavior and we ignore when they don't. So, again, it looks like both of the males have uh, gone up to that side pool over there. Again, I'm looking for those trainers to indicate to me that they're asking the whales to sit with them so that we can either go on or close that doorway. Now, again, we have three female killer whales on this side of the environment right now. Depending on the time of the year, sometimes the group's together, sometimes they're separated, sometimes they have all the pools, sometimes they have one or two. All of these pools are connected by that doorway right there. We have seven different pools in this environment containing over seven million gallons of ice cold man-made salt water. This front pool right here is the largest and the deepest. It contains about one million. The other six are spread out through our back area. You sort of can't see all of the pools, but they're all connected by those doorways right there. And that's a good sign, as you can see that doorway is closing, which means the whales indicated to the trainers backstage that they were willing to sit with them. They were willing to participate and interact with their trainers. Killer whales are extremely social animals. They're interacting with each other all the time. They are run by a matriarch. Katina is our matriarch here at this uh, facility. She is our 46 year old female killer whale and she sort of runs the roost. So my guess is going to be that one of the trainers is gonna come out and they're gonna let me know what we've decided to do. And by we, I mean all the trainers backstage because I don't know what they're talking about right now. Okay, it looks like we're gonna start with stage slide on this side with the girls. So, what we're looking for is for that doorway to open. I believe they've probably cued, I can't see with these spotlights in my eyes, but I believe that they've probably cued our sound booth and our stage manager whenever you guys are ready to go. We're gonna start with that stage slide finale music. Right on cue. Mr. 